Ah, ah, welcome back. We got the batteries installed. Unfortunately, it ran through my garage door last night, so I'm hmm, gonna have to fix that. That's making this weird sound. Uh, some of the lights work, the radio doesn't work. I got her wired up real nicely because I'm really anal like that. Everything's soldered, but yeah, there's either a blown fuse I can't find or I have no idea. So, yep, yeah, 248 big battery, Eagle, blah, blah, blah. Um, got the charger there, got the inverter there. I got the plug system here, so you just have to plug a regular extension cord in to charge it. Uh, distribution blocks there. And, uh, yeah, I got some of that HDPME or whatever it is down there. I didn't put this one here um, because I don't want to put bolts through it in case we put a different battery in there. So didn't want the bolts scratching the battery. So, yeah, it's making a weird noise. So we're getting ready to do a little speed run. Um, after it uh, crashed in the garage door last night. I, <laughs> yeah, I know it's funny for you. <laughs> it wasn't funny for me. Um... Yeah, we'll fix that garage door later. But uh, getting ready to do a speed run. And, uh, yeah. We got headlights. No stereo. No reverse lights, but you know what? You don't need all that nonsense, so. Uh, stand by for more. We'll see with two 48 Volt Eagles and a 2006 Club Car DS with a Plum Quick upgrade and a Davidas 440 does. And I'm not going to crank it up all the way. I probably only get it at like 6,000 RPMs because, yeah, I don't want to hurt anything else so we'll be right back 